want it to, to make a state of the art, you know, show place, a training facility, a place to bring in customers, a legislator into one place, show them the history of the business, 140 plus years of history. You can show them you know, how the fish are caught, how the fish are located, both from the air and on a vessel. Uh, you can show how it's produced, how it's uh, processed, how that oil is refined up to human, human level and see the entire operation. So we really have been excited for some time about having a show place that we could bring people in to, you know, to help sell the business to people and let them see just what we do. Well, over the last 20 to 30 years, we've done a number of projects with Omega. And this building was, was basically sitting here vacant or, or very sparsely used. As far as we know, it was built somewhere in the 30s or early 40s. I got the opportunity to work on the Smith Building here with my sister and brother-in-law's company. We are Ingram Bay Contracting and we were the um, general contractor for the renovation of this building. When he got to bed, he asked me, he said, would you want to work on it? I said, I'd love to. I've been around the building all my life. I was born and raised here in Reedville. You know, most uh, people my age, you know, remember the building as a kid. You know, I used to drive my little boat, my skiff, you know, up and down this creek here. I have lots of memories from down here. Um, my dad always took us on the boat with my grandpa fishing when I was small, and we've just kind of grown up here. And the building really wasn't used in the late 60s and early 70s, so we would pull our boats up here and we would explore through the building. Been in it quite a few times before in the past. Uh, it was used as a corporate headquarters for the J. Howard Smith Company. They used this point of land as their major railway. And my grandfather, he actually ran the repair yard for Smith when it was working. As far as connection to the building, my father, my grandfather, my great-grandfather have all been fish boat captains. My other grandfather on my mother's side, he was a fish boat captain for Smith. So my father-in-law was employed in the boat yard as a child. He could tell you who sat in every chair in the office. <laughs> kind of rough, water damage, some of the windows were out, just neglected. Holes in the roof. There were animals, birds, raccoons living in the building. We, we gutted the whole building. We took it right back to the bare bones and started over again because there were so many issues with what was underlying. Well, we, we tried to do things here that were as close to what was here as possible and to reuse the materials that were here. The look, of course, was saved and Monty Deal, he wanted to restore it as it was. I know, but the feel of what you have in this building now is pretty much restored to the way it was. It wasn't difficult, it, it actually was kind of fun. The training room on the other end of the facility, that we had removed some offices to create that space. So we had to replace the, all the stain trim work. We couldn't exactly match the doors, the interior doors, but we came close. The floors were salvaged, most of them where they um, kept the hardwood floors. There originally was a compass rose in the floor, in the tile, but it was like a lam more like a laminate tile, and that had gotten wet and, of course, peeled up. So they wanted to keep that. Like, I mean, that was Monty's doing of kind of putting it back like it used to be. Part of the first floor is below the flood line. And, of course, then the, there's a portion of it is raised to get that above the, the flood line. So we left it really bare concrete, and we will have plant functions down there. It's safe as original. That, that got shuffled around and, and, uh, and, and kept while we, they were working on it. We've spent roughly about $1.3 million uh, renovating this facility here. Probably 15, 18 months to get it all worked out. 40 people with different companies around the area that worked on it. Uh, you know, and this, this point is seen as, it's almost seen as uh, community property and people think a lot of it, you know, they like to, to feel like it, you know, belongs to the community. And we've had a few employee, employees who asked to be married down here by the stack. It's a beautiful location. The stack, as everyone calls it, um, is there's a lot of events held here. Um, the fireworks, which is a big thing for Reedville, is held here every 4th of July. People congregate in their boat all around the stack, and they actually even come down to the stack and watch the fireworks. The Omega is a huge part of our community. Between jobs and, and special events and the community organizations and you know the Little League, the schools, uh, they give back to all of it. Just the fact that you got to 
work on something that's been here all my life and see it kind of come back to life was fun. You know, when you come into Reedville by water, or even if you come to the end of Reedville by land, this is something you see every time you come in and go out. And it's just, you know, it's felt good to restore it and have it be their headquarters now. Hopefully, you know, the building will be here another 100 years and people can look back and, you know, my dad, my grandfather worked on that when they talk about me.